Today we're going to learn how to get started using Java and how we're going to use it for this whole course with the Temperature Control Lab. So all of the links and the files that I'll be using you can find at this GitHub page that's linked below in the description github.com slash apmonitor slash begin Java. And right here we're in the very first lesson 00.introduction to Java. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to get started writing Java code and what programs we use to do that. So before we get started, there's a couple things that you'll need to have on your computer. The first thing you need to have is the Java Development Kit. And if I go back here to the course overview, in, on the front page, you'll see a couple different links. This one is called Install the JDK. And if you click this link right here, it'll take you to the Java site where you can download the JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit and it's the computer program that your computer needs in order to read Java code and run the programs you write. So make sure you download that and get it set up. And after you have that downloaded, you're also going to need to go back here and download a program to write your code in. Now you could write your code in any program really. You could write it in a simple text editor like text edit on your computer. You could write it in Microsoft Word, but it wouldn't be the most convenient because those are made for writing other kinds of files. So most programmers prefer to write in what's called an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and an IDE is a program that lets you write your code, test your code, debug your code, and run it all in the same place. So there's a lot of IDE options out there. The one I use is called Eclipse. And you can also find that link right here. If you open it up, you can download it to your computer and get it set up. And it should look about how I have my Eclipse set up. And the last thing you'll need to keep following this course is a temperature control kit, the temperature control lab, which you see a picture of right here. You can buy that off of Amazon right here. There's also a link to the Amazon page. And the kit comes with all of the cables you need to hook it up to your computer and get started programming for the kit. It's a really neat kit. It comes with two heaters and two thermometers, and it lets you program it to do things like a regular temperature control module would, say in a, in a large heater in a hotel or on a small scale in something like a greenhouse that's trying to maintain a constant temperature. So it's a great way to learn how to program for real-world applications like you might in a job. So once you have those three basic things, um, you can open up Eclipse and start writing Java code. So I'm going to walk you through the basics of a Java program with my Eclipse right here. Now when you open it up, you'll see three main windows that you have to pay attention to. Right here in the middle, you can see the code window where I'm going to write all of my code and my files. And there's different tabs up here with different files that you can have open. On the left-hand window, you see all the different projects that I have. And each of these is a different project, and if you click an arrow, you can expand it, and you can see the files underneath that project. And on the right side is the console window. So when we write all of our code and run it, all the output and all the errors, maybe if we have errors from that program, will be displayed here in the console. So let's get started writing our first project. I'm going to come over here to the left panel and click and right click and go to new Java project and on this window I can title my project you can name yours whatever you want I'm gonna name mine my project oh and I already have one called my project I'm gonna name it my project 01 and click finish and it'll bring up another window asking you to name a file called module info.java you can name it the same thing as your main project um, but by convention, you, you don't capitalize the first letter for the module info file. Once you do that, you can click Create. And over here, you see Java has created, or Eclipse rather, has created a new Java project for me, my project 01. And it's automatically opened the module info file. We don't care a lot about this file. We're not going to be doing a lot in this file to write our code. So to get started writing our code, we're going to need to create two things. Every Java project has inside of the project directory a package and a class. 
So to create your package, which is sort of like the folder that holds all of your different code files, you're going to right click on this folder called SRC, that stands for source, and go to new Java project, or excuse me, right click and go to new package, and then name your package. I'm going to name my package default package, and click finish and it creates a package underneath the source folder and then to create your class file where you actually write your code right click on the package you just created and go to new class I'm gonna name my class main and then the only other thing you have to worry about on this window is this checkbox that says public static void main string args and that will just have Java or have Eclipse automatically generate uh, the main method for your program and I'll explain that once we open the file and see it so once you've clicked that checkbox you can click finish and it creates the main class and it opens it up right here and you can see that job Eclipse has already put in a few lines of code automatically so I'll go through those and explain what they mean because every time you start a new programming language the the different syntax and words can be a little bit confusing at first so this very first line right here is just telling the program what package this file is part of. So remember we named our package default package and so up here it's named default package. And the next line right here you see is the class. Now the class like I said is this file but inside of the file we have to tell it what's part of the class and so this says everything in between this opening bracket and this closing bracket is part of the class. And then inside that class is the main method I mentioned. When we checked that box, remember it said public static void main string args? That was creating this little bit of text right here. And what this main method is, is the place where Java looks to start running your code. When you click run, it's immediately going to go to this main method and run all the code you have typed inside it. If you type commands outside the main method, Java won't run them like commands. Everything that you want Java to see and run in your program needs to be inside of this main method. And then this line of code I just deleted is a comment. Java doesn't read that, it's just for the user to see, so it doesn't really matter if I delete it. So let's get started writing our first program. We're going to write a simple program that prints something to the console over here. And you can see my last program that I ran printed Hello World. So let's print something a little bit different. To print or to output something to the console in Java, you need to write system.out.println and then two parentheses and inside the parentheses two quotation marks and inside those quotation marks whatever you want to print. So in this case, let's say good morning. And after you write this, the last thing you need to do is put a semicolon at the end of this command. The semicolon for Java tells it that's the end of this command. As Java is looking through and reading your different commands, it needs to know as soon as this command stops and the next one starts, and the semicolon is the way to do that. So this is everything we need to run a basic program. So we can come up here and click this little green play button, and that will execute the program, and we'll see the output over here in the console. And just like we expected, it printed good morning. Now you can play around with the output here. You could have it say whatever you want. I could change it to good boy, as if I'm playing with my dog. And you can even add more of these print statements. I could put three in a row. And now when I run my code, you see it prints it out three times in a row. So I encourage you to play around a little bit with this basic program so you can get a good feel for how Eclipse works and what these different tools are. And in our next lesson, we're going to learn how to write a code or write a program rather to control the temperature control lab and how to get started um, with the JTC lab library that lets us control the temperature control lab, that physical piece of hardware you have. So I'll see you in the next lesson and thanks for tuning in.